Hey YouTube, Michael Double X the Beast uh, back here again for video number two um, of my April and May update um, to my 90s and 2000s uh, baseball card collection, uh, which is primarily Scott Rowland and No More. Um, we've got one non uh, non Rowland and No More here, uh, the show. Um, and it's a 98 uh, Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor of Jeremy Burnett's. Um, I'm from Oklahoma, of course, and a big Oklahoma State fan. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm prone to picking up a few of uh, his cards and Ventura and, you know, some of the some of the better guys that came came out of the program there during the era. Um, I saw this pop up on eBay, and so I it was at auction, so I had to try to go for it, and and, uh, and I won it. Obviously, it wasn't expensive. That yeah, you know, he didn't have a big following or anything, but nice looking card. Um, you know, if uh, if he played in today's era where strikeouts don't get looked at harshly and things like that, he he would be considered a lot better than he than he was during that era. Um, cool card, um, obviously rare, number to one hundred. And these ninety eight these ninety eight uh, atomics, they look great. Uh, just one of the better looking cards that uh, the tops produced during the era. Very very cool. And uh, I just got a video one up uh, uploaded right before I started this one. And so this one will be going up uh, immediately afterwards. And then I'm going to work on number three. And video four won't be done until Tuesday or Wednesday. But, um, you know, they're going to progressively get uh, more and more rare cards. So you, you definitely, definitely stay tuned. Here's a 98. Uh, Top Stack Diffractor of Scott Rowland. I got some more base base of these in. Um, I went through and couldn't figure out which ones I had already shot videos of and and everything. So I just pulled the the, the I got this diffractor right here and then one more over here in my pile to show. So I, this 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 will be number four the fourth diffractor I had and then the other one will be number five. So um, slowly coming along, but but. You know, considering I've only been after it for about four months, to have five of them, I guess, isn't terrible. Um, but these are just great looking cards. I'm a huge fan of these 98 diffractors. Um, and this is pattern 86. I don't know if the camera can pick up that. It may be not wanting to focus that close, but um, very cool. You know, I pick up all these I can I can find, of course. Uh, and I just got this one in the mail yesterday. Um, and this is one of the ones that, uh, you know, you can see the foil, um, the pattern, you know, kind of goes up into here and, and then uh, goes across the, the, the entire rest of the pattern. But right here, it's real heavy. Uh, and I don't know why, I don't know if that's foil missing or what, what's happened right there, but it's, it's you know, for, it looks like it's part of the pattern. I got to go do a little bit of research on it, but nevertheless, it's rare, um, very, very tough to find. So. I was able to pick it up and and uh, happy to have it. And this is pattern 78. I will find it right. Yeah, 78. And they're very hard to read. You can kind of see the pattern right there. They're kind of hard to see the patterns. But uh, cool cards. Um, up next is the last Scott Rowland card I have for this update, uh, for this video. And it's a cool one. It's a 99 Skybox Autographics, and it's a Century Marks or, or Blue Ink, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, of course, very, very, very rare at number 7 of 50. And uh, I was I was thrilled to add this one. I think this is maybe the only autograph card I even have right now. I, if you guys watch any of my Grand Hill videos over the years or anything else, I'm not really an autograph guy, I'm not really a game use guy. I just – I like a good, just a good design card without, without, all, but the autographics, uh, these are a little bit different. I really enjoy these, uh, just a nice on-card auto and especially being the blue ink, uh, makes it very, very cool. Uh, I was very, very, very excited to add that to my, my rolling collection. It's in great shape. A lot of these are chipped up real bad and this one's not. Um, it's, a uh, you know, this looks really nice. I like the picture they added there. Like I mentioned in my previous video, the ones where Roland's playing defense is kind of just as much, if not more, as what I remember him doing uh, than he even than he even was on offense. Um, okay, so I'll show these here. So these are I was able to pick up six more 
Tops Tech Golds uh, of No More. Um, I already had four, so now at 10, 10 of the 60 um, now. Um, and I'll go, I'll go through these relatively quickly because they, you know, it's just the, it's just the, the background is all it's different. Um, but, uh, I was, I was thrilled to get to add, you know, another six of them. Um, you know, just, this is kind of like the, the 98 diffractors of, of Roland. I just keep, keep working through the list. And this one is Jersey numbered. Another one that's Jersey numbered five of 10. Um, so obviously I, you know, I like to pick up the Jersey number one of 10 and 10 of 10 as much as I can, just the significant serial numbers, uh, you know, very, very cool. I keep tilting my cords the wrong way. Um, and then here's another one. This is the one that's got the baseball pattern behind him. Uh, you know, very reflective, very, very cool cards. I'm big, big fan of these just, you get a good bang for your buck uh, on these just because of what they cost. And this one's three of 10. Um, and you can see the pattern down here. This is 38 a, and then pattern 16 a is the, uh, is the white, is the white home Jersey. And then uh, B or yeah, B is the, uh, the away Jersey, the gray Jersey. And this is the, the shortstop. You can see where it says shortstop on the back and just uh, has like this, almost like netting or something here. Uh, you know, this one's, some of them look a little bit better than the others. I like the one that had ones that have like a little bit of etching to them. Um, this one's more, more kind of more plain. Um, this is pattern 12 and it's six of 10. And then I like this, this one looks really good with little zigzags, uh, almost like the, the Chevron pattern and then the, the American League uh, insignia there at the top. I keep getting the reflection going here, but you can see this one shines. Some of them just shine better than the others, uh, just because of the patterns. And this one's one of ten, so you know definitely a cool serial number to get. Um, you can see some full missing right there, and uh, some of them have that a little bit of full missing. You can see a little bit on the front uh, right there, and that's just. The more of them I've, I've bought, the more of them I noticed that some of them just, that's just how they are. Um, and so this one looks cool too with the, with the pattern here. And this just has, it's just this tech behind it. But you can see all the little patterns. It really makes it a uh, super reflective, very, very cool card. And uh, this one's two of 10. Um, this is pattern 30. And you can see, I don't, the, the gray jerseys I have, I only have I think, two of the 10 so far have been the gray jerseys, none, none this time around. Uh, this is 1997 behind him here. And it's, it's, this is the rookie of the year one. Um, he won the rookie of the year, obviously 97. So that's why it's got that. And this one's six of 10. So not a, not a significant serial number, but, but you know, it's pattern 11. Very, very cool. Very, very excited about adding all six of those. Uh, got two cards left. Um, Another, I had some player showcase uh, legacies on my other video, and then I realized I, I didn't include this one or the next one, so I just I made them the last two on this one. But um, this is 98 row one, I believe, is what this is. Um, and, uh, you know, looks great. I love the pattern. Um, you know, it's one of the better patterns. You can see, you can see all of it there. It almost looks like it moves. A great looking blue foil. And then, uh, you know, Cool serial number to have, five of 100. So it's jersey numbered for uh, for no more. See the blue foil here for his name. Um, these are these are great. Uh, just you just cannot go wrong with these. Um, last but certainly not least, maybe uh, maybe no more's best uh, rookie year '97 uh, card. Um, arguably, um, it's it's. This and this and maybe the '97 SPX Grand Finale, which I obviously I still need, but um, both of these, you know, both of those cards are, are great. And uh, I'm trying to get the surface, show you all the little speckles in it. Very cool with the with the blue holographic full. And the '97s, '97 in baseball, '96, '97 in basketball, they just the, the reflective surface on the blue just looks better than any other year. 
uh, and it's really, it's really hard to get the camera to pick it up, but very, very cool card. Um, and uh, it's numbered 98 of 100. You can see the blue foil for no more's name. Obviously the blue foil here and uh, signifies row zero right here. And uh, just just one of my favorite cards. I, I saw it pop up. I think I overpaid a little bit for it, but I don't even care. Just, just uh, was glad to get it. Um, still need the rolling. I missed the one that was on eBay there uh, several weeks ago. Um, I should have just snagged it up too, and I didn't. But, uh, you know, very, very cool card. Um, that's it for this update, for update number two. And uh, I will have update three posted here shortly as well. And uh, then, like I said, look, look, look for next week for, uh, you know, the, the big hitter, uh, number four, it'll be full of some, some crazy rare stuff. So thank you for watching.